All right, just got back from my Pipita, or HIDA scan for gallbladder, radioactive tracer, and I thought, you know, let's take a look at me. All right, background radiation. This thing's not very sensitive. It's back old 60s meter kind of thing, you know. And uh, all right, the meter's pinning me just holding the, holding the thing. I'm gonna go to the highest scale, 100X. That'd be 100 millirums per hour, something like that. This is uncalibrated, of course, but it's you know not a terribly sensitive meter. It can read background radiation. Well, uh, hmm, let's take a look at me. Oh, geez. So I'm reading about 95 millirems per hour, uncalibrated meter. And of course, you can hear it. Uh, give it a little 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 action sound there. That's not, uh, that's not a heartwarming feeling to have this coursing through your body, I must say. I don't care how, uh, how minor it is. Oh, you, you use such a small amount and all that. I mean, you know, shouldn't get scared away from doing it, I guess, if you're having severe symptoms. I didn't have any symptoms of gallbladder anyway. Yeah, this is, this is not great. All right, I'm going to look at the uh, different parts of the body here. Again, this is the biggest scale on this thing. There's a little less than 50. Millirems per hour is what it's saying. Now, right now, this is concentrated in my uh, in the gut. Of course, the uh, thing is releasing into my gut, the, the uh, gallbladder. Let's bring the speaker up there so you can hear a little bit. So, intestines showing the same high readings. Gallbladder releasing into the intestines. Lung area less. Blood, brain, less, about one quarter. Leg, less. Definitely concentrated in here. All right, it's time to eat some stuff and flush this out. Okay, it's uh, evening, same day of the uh, Pepita scan. Ten hours later, drank a lot of fluids, ate all kind of stuff, tried to rinse it out, that kind of thing. Here we are. Let's take a look. Let's just try it and start right up at the uh, gallbladder area. We were reading a peak of 200 at the absolute peak about an hour after the scan. That's our reading right now. Let's move down to the uh, intestines. Seems, seems to have moved down there somewhat. Right intestines, heck of a lot more on my right than the left. Uh, left side stomach right on the stomach and back over to the liver and gallbladder area. So stomach is still reading pretty high but gallbladder and liver still more and slightly less down in the right side lower intestine, left, left side intestine quite a bit lower general body dose above average but lower. Okay 28 hours after the Pipita test, uh, scan around my body here I can find some places in the lower intestine that are quite a bit higher than background radiation, but the uh, overall amount is decreased significantly, so it is a logarithmic decrease in level. Uh, you know, reading up, it looks like a drink a big green drink, a lot of chlorophyll, maybe some melatonin and vitamin C might help protect your cells from gamma ray radiation. Protect your cells. But uh, I'm definitely significantly above background radiation now, but it is uh, tapering out. They claim, you know, in the high 90% of radioactivity should be gone after 24 hours. But I'm still, uh, still able to raise the meter, especially in the most sensitive position. It's almost full.